Welcome to the second edition of this discussion about the use of entity relationship diagrams in the development of databases. Once again, for this presentation, we will continue with the use of our Rugby World Cup 2019 scenario. In our previous presentation, we looked at how we can use entity relationship diagrams to assist us in designing databases. We will now continue by using the information gathered during the presentation development of our basic Rugby World Cup 2019 Entity Relationship Diagram to develop the actual database. For this presentation, we will use LibreOffice Base as a database platform. In this section, we will create tables based on the entities as defined in our ERD diagrams. We will use both the SQL generated from the ERD tool and the LibreOffice Base Table Wizard method to create these tables. We will then use LibreOffice Base to configure the relationship between the two tables. Finally, we will populate our new tables with data and show how we can use basic SQL queries to analyze the data. Let us start by creating the team table using the LibreBase design view. Notice that the design view clear closely resembles that the data dictionary as presented in the first video. So we capture the team ID, the team name, the team nickname, the team colors, the team emblem, the pool in which the teams will participate, the world ranking, and the name of the head coach. Notice that we could just copy the descriptions in our data dictionary to the actual LibreOffice Libre Office Base design view if needed. Notice the little key which Def, uh, identifies the team ID as the primary key for this table. So once again we'll save that and we will have a created database using the design view. Now we will use the SQL query as generated by the ERD tool to uh, generate the players table. Um, we will use the built-in uh, Libra Office Base SQL tool that we will execute and that will then generate a table called Player ID and if we edit that you'll notice that Player is the key, primary key. Once we have populated the tables with players and teams, we can go ahead and create a number of queries to analyze the data. The first one we'll be looking at is a, a query that uses aggregate functions, the aggregate function uh, date div, to calculate the age of a player based on that player's date of birth. Um, so we will have player's age save that and when we execute that we will have a list of players their date of birth and their associated age we can have statistical analysis of the data as well in for example uh, a query that will look at the players that have the maximum weight in the world cup We'll call that heaviest uh, players. And when we execute that, we will have a single player weighing in at 151 kilograms. We could also have a query that will return 
the oldest players in the World Cup. And if we execute that, we will have two players aged 38 um, years respectively. Equally, we can have queries that calculate the youngest, the tallest, uh, the t players with the most games played for the um, specific countries. Thus, in conclusion, we have shown how we can use entity relationship diagrams uh, to design a database and from those designs create uh, tables that can be populated with data and against which queries can be run for data analysis.